Hopefully you've already watched the video about the ERS and FRS lesions of the lumbar spine where we have a spinal segment relative to the ones above and below that is stuck or not moving properly. So using a muscle energy technique to use the muscles to basically pull the spine in one position uh, towards the center to get everything to move more normally again is basically what this video is going to be about. So for the extended rotated side bend lesion, we're going to have the patient on their side um, and for the purposes of this we'll say it is L4. So uh, you always are going to have the patient on their painful side so we're going to pretend that she has a problem on her right L4 so if you could face the camera. Now her spine right now is facing this way so you're seeing the front of her spine. And what we want to make sure to do is that we move the spine to isolate the pressures as best we can um, at the segment of interest. So what I'm going to be doing is putting my fingers on the spinous processes so I know when we're isolating the motion in that area. So I'm going to use her, her legs to basically flex and or extend the lumbar spine from the bottom up and I'm gonna use her torso to flex and or extend her uh, torso from the top down onto the lumbar spine. So again, L4 here, we do not wanna really cause motion here, but we wanna cause motion at this joint until we just start to maybe get a glint of some motion here. So for an ERS lesion where it's extended, we want to flex the spine down to it and side bend and rotate her towards a position where she basically needs to go. It's the opposite of where it's stuck. So my middle finger will be on L4, our target segment, if you could come forward a bit. And my bottom finger is on L5, the finger above it is on um, L3. So for the extended segment, I'm going to flex her down to this area. So to do that, there's a couple different ways we can basically hold her, but I'm going to take her bottom arm and I'm going to kind of use my arm on her shoulder to kind of help her flex down to this area. Now, when I did that, she helped me as a patient normally will, and then generally you'll go too far. So we're going to have her kind of reset on her side. Go ahead. There you go. Thank you. And be totally relaxed as I gently pull you. There we go, right about there. That's everything moved down to L3, and I just started to get a little bit of motion at L4. Now, I'm gonna switch hands, and now I'm gonna to start to flex her knees up until I start to feel motion for sure at L5 and maybe just that little bit of motion at L4. Now, normally I would stay on this side of the table, but so you can see what her legs are doing, I'm going to come to the back end. So, again with my fingers on L4, 5, and L3, I'm going to basically side bend her spine by lifting her legs up until I start to feel motion at L5 and just start to barely feel at L4. So right here, I'm going to keep my hand where it is and I'm going to have her very gently apply pressure down with her feet towards the floor. Go ahead. And I'm going to have her more gently than that, just about one or two pounds of pressure. Relax. Apply that pressure for three to five seconds, three to five times, and then we can retest. Now, after the first repetition, you may be able to side bend her a little bit more towards that barrier. But again, we don't really want to have much motion at L4. We want to take up the slack to it, not move L4 as well, because then we're just locking it out. So again, push down very gently with your feet towards the floor. Perfect. Holding that for three to five seconds. And again, we'll reassess that after three to five repetitions of it. Now, for that, segment that is flexed. Now we want to extend her and rotate and side bend her down to that segment. So again, the painful side or the dysfunctional side will be down towards the floor. So assuming that she's 
on her side. Go ahead, I want you to kind of resituate yourself right on your side. Thank you. Now I'm going to push back on her top shoulder and lift her back a little bit to get her lumbar spine down to L4, which will be our target segment again, into extension and a little bit of rotation to the left. So I'm going to gently kind of hold on to her shoulders and I'm going to lift her back just a little bit. Good. And again, if you have a free hand to actually palpate down here, that would be key because we don't want to lock it out. And I could, if I wanted to, put my arm kind of underneath her pillow as she's relaxing and use that to basically extend her back or flex her if I extended her a little bit too much. And in this position, I'm going to gently push backwards on her shoulder and a little bit down towards her hip. So she's rotating down to that area as well. Now, I'm going to come down to the back side of the table, which normally I would do this from the front. Again, L4 is our target segment. We don't want to feel very much motion here at all. We're going to take up the slack now from the bottom. So if this is a flexed segment, we want the lumbar spine to extend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly, passively, bring her legs back until I feel right about here. That L5 has extended, but L4 barely has started to move. And then what we do is we lift the leg up, always feeling L4 because we don't want to cause much motion there. With her hip in a little bit of flexion and her hip kind of in neutral. And what I'm going to have her do is either A, ideally push down with her foot towards the floor. Go ahead, gently with our three to five seconds of pressure at about two pounds of pressure or so, relax. And then if I can, I can rotate her internally and abduct her hip a little bit more. Again, feeling for when that L4 starts to want to move. Um, you can also have her abduct her top hip towards midline a little bit. Go ahead and try that. But relax. Per textbook, traditionally, having her try to externally rotate her hip isometrically is how this is traditionally done. So again, we're extended from the top down, we're extended from the bottom up to our target segment. We lift up the leg in neutral to where L4 starts to move. I internally rotate her a little bit and then she tries to push down with her foot towards the floor. Go ahead. Relax. And again, after three to five repetitions, we're going to reassess her pain, her motion, um, some of those other provoking factors that she might have had.